Oh no! We're going. Oh, and also said I was the which doctor I was. I was doing a doctor, and it said I was the eleventh doctor. And right. then, I, then I go back and change only one answer, and then um, it and then it says that I'm the a tenth doctor. Wow! All right, here we go. Move. Move. Two months have passed since Mr. Kevin's arrest. My first trial, and I lost both my mentor and my job. Yeah, I'll admit it. I was screwed. But even when I hit bottom, I told Ow. myself I'd never come here. Honest. <laughs> it's a floating fork! Here being the legendary right in co-law offices. <laughs> okay, Justice. Time to start trembling. Ah! Miss Pew for the interview. Right this way. Huh? <gasps> Hello there. You find the right place. Welcome. Uh, 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 what's with this girl? Well, now, shall we begin? Begin what? Right. First things first, any special talents? Er, talents? Yes, well, uh, you must have at least one. Well, uh, I guess, defending? Defending, an unusual talent, but it'll do. A little jazzing up, of course. You think so? Let's give it a go, shall we? Huh? Go ahead, show me, defend. Just give it all you got, don't hold back it now. What, what are you talking about? I can't just defend here! First lesson, professional can perform anywhere. Thanks. Why do you look so gloomy? What? What's happening? What? What's happening? I'm listening to you. I'm probably something around my mic. Oh. Well, we want people to be laughing with us, not at us. Thanks. But I'm not sure why they should be laughing at all. What? What exactly do you think you came here to do? What? Um, defend? No. Excuse me, but do you know where you are? Uh, the right and the lofts, right? Oh, I was afraid of that. Don't worry, you're not the first. Look, what's going on here? Who are you? I came here to meet with the person in charge. Well, you apparently made no fewer than two mistakes. Mistakes? But I got a call from Mr. Wright this morning. Perhaps you should go read the sign out in front again. What's there to read? Look, it says right there. Oh. Why well, does it say Wright Talent Agency? Welcome to the Wright Talent Agency, where you always come to the right place. And all the word puns are terrible. Yes, very terrible. I'm Trucy Wright, CEO. I'm a magician. It all came flooding back. The trial. That girl. Hello, sir. Please pick a card. The pink locket. <laughs> That's right. She's my daughter. What? Trucy Wright. Here, check out our flyer. So, what's your name? Apollo... Apollo Justice, attorney at law. Examine. Examine the person. Oh wait, uh, Miss Freeman, who do you want to voice? I don't know. I don't think you want to voice Trucy or Apollo, because it's going to be a lot of them talking today. Uh, it's up to you if you want to do Apollo, I'll try to do <laughs> Okay, how about this? I do Apollo, Trucy, you can do the guy that was doing the harmonica a bit ago, he does a decent, he does a little bit, and you can also do Walkie. I know this case, I know the people in it. How about that? I'll be the judge too, if there's Yes, the you're, you're the judge, you're the judge, that's obvious. And so. I'll try to get a Scottish accent down. <laughs> I always thought he talked like this somehow. He always had to sound like this to me. So, is this really a talent agency? You bet. Day started seven years ago when he quit law. Of course, we only had two people sign up right now. Two people. Does that include you? Juicy right? We just an extraordinaire. I've done a lot of stage shows. Hey, do. I'm a professional, you know. Er, right. Probably should come to one of my shows, okay? Let's see, oh, and the other person our agency represents is Phoenix Wright, Pianist Extra Ignore. Your dad, in other words. Didn't he say he could play the, could play the piano? Our agency doesn't see that as a problem. Why, there are many magicians out there who can't do magic. At least you're optimistic, I'll give you that. So you're his, er, you're Phoenix Wright's daughter? That's right. After daddy quit law seven years ago, I promise I'll keep him fed. So I'm kind of his sugar daddy, get it? No, he's, he's kind of your sugar daddy. No. 
I'm in charge of this whole office too. Pretty amazing for a young lad's 15, would you agree? You're 15? I thought you were- I knew it! I thought you were 17! No, because on my game, she's 16. This is- my game's the year. In the, oh yeah. Oh yeah, Maya's 7. Maya's 17. From regular Phoenix, right? Derp. Derp. You, you derp, know pretty, derp, derp, you know, pretty, derp. Is it Maya 17? And I mean 18 in your game? Or like 25? Is she 25? And Check your game. Like, whenever you can. 15. I have it just on my desk, uh, too. How old is Mr. Wright? Daddy, oh, he's 33 this year. Yep. I'm sure there's a good explanation. I hope. Huh? Oh, about Mr. Wright giving up law. It was because of that incident seven years ago, wasn't it? Eh, you know about that? Not the details. I remember the news, though. It was a big deal. So I hear. I was too young to understand what was going on. I'll ask Daddy about it next time we get a chance. Daddy, right? That reminds me. About Mr. Wright, he gave me a call this morning to come in. Dad's not here right now. He's in the hospital. What? The hospital? Yeah, he's on strict bed rest until he gets better. What? Okay, which hospital is Mr. Wright in? I'll pay him a visit. Oh, the Hickfield Clinic. It's quite close. Right, well, I'll be going now and I'll, uh, give this showbiz geek some thought, okay? Wait, I'll go with you. Oh, seems you got a partner. June 15th, 9.45 a.m. Tickfield Clinic. So, this is Mr. Wright's hospital. Oh, what the heck are you? <laughs> Mr. Wright, <Target. laughs> uh, yeah, are you the doctor? Hey, yep, doctor, it feels the name. <laughs> Good morning, doctor. Oh, hi, Dr. 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 Who's ever? <laughs> and I can tell I'm a pedophile. I, what is wrong with him? Is this daddy's room? Oh yeah, Chip gone back from moon checkup. Be back soon. How are you, Mister C? Got face to like examined? <laughs> oh, Doctor. Doctor Who? No, you're always Phoenix. Doctor, the nurse was looking for you. Why, well, if it isn't the daddy or the cutest little thing in town? <laughs> I guess it'll be off in <laughs> later, Juicy. Pedophile. <laughs> pedophile, wow. he's a pedophile. <laughs> what an odd bird that guy was. Good morning. Don't expect you so soon, Apollo. Mr. Wright. Examine him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Examine him. Examine him. Oh, exactly examined the, you examined the over. room. <laughs> oh, <laughs> What's that on TV? It looks like some sort of action hero show. Oh, I know that one. That's the sniffing, sniffling samurai. It's booger like a tech <sighs> as a big hit with the great school crowd. I had no idea you liked this kind of stuff, Mr. Wright. Freeman. Well, that else... Uh, what? <laughs> yes. What else is there to do when you're stuck in bed? Besides, the episode will just keep pull, piling up, piling up, if I don't keep up, you know? Yeah, nah. Uh, yeah. Try not buying them. Now, the only time I get to watch and write up my reports. Your reports? It's a long story, like... A lot of things, actually. I'm stretching back. He's gonna keep examining the room. <laughs> Mr. Wright's bed. It's really messy. Look how messy this is. You're just hopeless without me, aren't you, Daddy? Yikes. She's just tipping to clean up. Look out. Wow. I got a warning. You see that warning on open broadcast software? No. I don't care. <laughs> you got... You got me. What can I say? I'm just raised in a barn. I was raised in a barn. Looking at stuff. Try not to let word get out, Apollo. If you don't mind. Yeah, it might ruin your illustrations, clear. Pretending to play the, com the piano. You're just gonna keep examining the room. 
a swaying, spiraling stack of DVD cases. The Steel Samurai, the Nickel And that's me, that's me. Nope. The Steel Samurai, the Nickel Samurai, the Pink Princess, the Zappy Samurai, Electric Bugaboo. They're all children's action hero shows. This kid I know keeps sending them to me. Who is it, Maya Faye? Huh? Like a niece or nephew? Something like that. I knew it's a brony. No, it's a brony. Yes, it's a brony. Quite the collection. It's us. I told you not to send him that. Quite the collection. This kid's parents must be really generous with their allowance. Funny, this right doesn't seem the type that kids would like. It's Maya Fay. Ah, Daddy, you took some grape juice in again. Doctor said you weren't supposed to drink that here. <laughs> Truxy, look, look at the la look at the label. Label. Oh, deep sea mineral water. That's fine, I guess. I switched the labels. Labels. Don't tell Truxy, okay? Okay. What can I say? The man loves his grape juice. I want to go get myself some juice now. This looks like a child's toy piano. Out of practice, wouldn't want my figures to get stiff. Mm, me too, okay. me too, me too. <laughs> if Poe always keeps his weapons close at hand, <sighs> I have my sonic screwdriver. Shall I, I play a tune? I have my soda. <laughs> yes, I do have a sonic screwdriver on my desk. Ugh, it's delicious. I'm on. <laughs> Fortunate, so I rarely get a chance to play. You just hit this. <coughs> what about the vase? Oh. Hey, talk now. Yay, talking! I love talking. <laughs> so, what happened? Who could have matched it? Me, victim of a hit. Uh, a hit, and you were hit by a car? Oh, he tried to swerve. I, I'll give him that. He tossed thirty feet through the air. That would be fun. Only stopped when my head hit the telephone pole. Ow! Pain. Ow. You hit a telephone pole with your head? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thankfully, my only injuries was a split ankle, sprained ankle. He How really do you is... only get a sprained ankle from that? He really is as lucky as they say. Damn. That's not too bad, but why not? There's something that, well, it just doesn't sit right. I just can't believe you have a daughter, Mr. Wright. And she's so big, not fat for her. You know what I mean. Oh, uh, I'm gonna say Trixie, but it's not. It's like Trucy. The great and powerful Trucy. The great and powerful Trixie. We're gonna name her new name is Trixie, okay? Yes. We're going to call she's her Trixie. Trixie. <laughs> she's Trixie. She's still a kid. <laughs> We're going to. <laughs> Tr uh, Trixie's her name. Uh, yeah. Daddy. How many times do I have to remind you? I'm not a child anymore. <laughs> but you'll always be daddy's little baby girl to me, Trixie. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> my foot. I'm not buying it. Oh, something you should know about Trixie. She's a magician, right? She told me. Not a mere saint magician, she's a genius. Ha, <laughs> oh, daddy. You soon come to appeal her talent, quote unquote. You should just tell me things instead of just initiating them or insinuating them. Insinuating. Exterminate. Oh. Exterminate. That's who references. Oh, it's me. I am pink. Yes. Yes. I'm peeking the mic, and I can see it. So, why did you contact me? What could the right talent agency possibly want with me? 
you need to get prickly. No need to get prickly now. now. Hey, I didn't ask to be dragged in like this. Huh? But did you come with the office with your own free will anyways? Well, yeah, of course. Help! We're big trouble at the office. Big! I thought someone was dying. So you, so you don't think it's a big trouble? My talent agency represents only two people, and one of them is in the hospital. Well, technically, all of them are in the hospital now. Yep. <laughs> That's right, Daddy. How are we gonna pay you the monthly rent uh, with rest? Monthly rent and the groceries. Ah. You still eating crackers? I'm trying to cut the bag open with a, my knife. Ah! I would throw my knife through the screen and probably get to you, but then I might stab my screen. That would never happen. There it opened. I got 40 packs of these things, so I'm gonna be here for a while. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with such a tight operation. Ah. It's a symbol of or or <laughs> uh, my brain resolution when only when one of us falls the other two must fall. Hey, is it isn't exactly super confident to be happy with a 15, 15 year old kid. In any case, if Apollo's here can't help you. You're <laughs> You'll have to transfer to a new school again. No, I can't. I only just my friends. How could you do this to me to us? Polly. No, 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 it's now she's Twilight. What? Oh. Huh? What? Now it's my fault. On the that note, how about you come walk for us? I've got the practice client for you already linked up. Uh, a client? You mean I could do my job? I get to defend in court? Alright, I hear what you have to say. You got him, daddy, hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's time to reel him in. Alright. Well, why is there so many fish puns? It's official, I'm scared. <laughs> it's official. Alright, so, who is this client? Ah, uh, yes, here, take a look at the map, I'll explain. I do a lot of explaining. I just close my door. I am totally twilight now. Last night, I left the office around 9 o'clock. Uh, I was going to investigate the paste that joint. I, I, wow. <laughs> Thousand ties. ties. I I put your name so well. I play piano there, of course. That's when it happened. The car sent me flying. Nickled a telephone pole. Telephone pole. <laughs> Just that weird word. This is like whoa. Zoomed around creepily, huh? And zoomed away. Creepy, zoomed huh? Away. Just a tad. It's almost creepy as hearing you tell the story like it was no big deal. Yeah. The curse scaled off in, t in this direction. Th that direction. Okay, towards the office. So, good luck. Mm huh? You wanted a client, didn't you? Well, I'm your client. Find the guy who knocked me into the telephone pole. Whoa, hold on, I'm a defense attorney, not a detective. Don't worry, once you f found the guy, I invest to sue him. He's dead. <laughs> what are you doing? Then you can stick it to him in court. Stick. Not a prosecutor either. Someone's texting you. Sorry about this is crazy, I'm going home. Miss Raven, don't get so. Oh, you're having a mess. Uh, you? It was just a joke. Yes, I saw that. That's what I was. I was memorized by the typing. Huh?
Somehow this guy found out my Facebook. <laughs> oh, daddy. Sorry, Apollo. He just loves jokes, you know. Even the ones that aren't very funny. Your real client should be stopped by the office anytime now. <laughs> the office? You mean the talent agency? No harm in going. It's not like I have anything else to do. One small, one more thing. I have a question. Uh, do you look into my accent too? Would you? Would you? Phone, shut up. A phone? I don't have a phone. It's my phone. I mark the scene of the of the tra eh, tragedy, tragedy on this map. I have so much mint in my mouth. It's all white. That's right. In you have so me. much myth in your mouth, like your like yourself, and then it's so light. That doesn't sound wrong at all. I said mint, not myth. Aaron not Fuentes. Wait a minute, I'm gonna add him on Facebook. <laughs> Aaron, look him up. That's what I'm doing right now. So he's gonna make me investigate this after all. Okay. While you're, on Facebook, while you're on Facebook, I'll go ahead and read your points, okay? Wait a minute! Oh. My bad is the court record. Now I can do both. I'm really good at both of them. Alright, so here's the guy. Hey, hey, hey! How long? What did I tell y'all about coming in my shed? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it perfect? It's my well, Which wait a one is he? There's I so think many. this is the guy. I think this is the guy. You, I think you should voice him. I remember what the guy looked like. So if it's him, I'll go and say, okay. voice him. How? Should I do like the Fluttershy? <laughs> yes. How, how long have you been planning on making me wait, huh? <laughs> ah, good morning. Hey there, Trixie doll. <laughs> oh my, I sound like a soda now. <laughs> this guy looks like he has a ball of noodles on his head. Is that probably, his hair? You should probably go look at the guy on Facebook so I know which one it is. <laughs> There's like five. Okay. We're, we're, we're doing scientific research. Scientific yes. research. <laughs> I'm just interrupting the video. I don't care, I ain't cutting it out. Uh, Could see stuff. Oh, happen. you have the same the same thing as I do, but mine changes. Oh no, you, yeah, you do. Mine changes. It's random. Mine doesn't change. Mine changes between like nine, maybe ten. Oh, here's for a request. Aaron Fuentes. Here's his picture. Uh, uh. It's kind of like an anime his picture. Uh. As you hang on, I can just go to your buddies list now. <laughs> yep, I have a message. Myth base, what do you want? Hey. Uh, oh my goodness. You asked to join Brody's for life. Alright. Uh, don't ask me why, I just do crazy stuff. There it is! That is a bell. Is this actually mine? I don't know. Is that yours? What? What? Wait a minute. Am I an admin on this thing? I don't know. Because it, it asked me, and I didn't make this group. Probably you, you have become an admin for being so long on. Aw, Milky Way Wishes. <laughs> Milky Way Wishes? Isn't that Kirby? Ooh, I don't know. I just wanted to say that because someone's name is Milky Way, and I want to say Milky Way Wishes. Milky Way Wishes is a, is a quest in Kirby Superstar. Why is that so random? And I know that. Uh, How should he be a voice? He looks kind of old. He looks kind of uh, old. No, he, he's gonna have the full shy voice. Yes, the shed shy. Yes, yeah, shed shy. Yeah. I, I already said the line like. <laughs> Sounds like you're a pops. I can't do it. It's too much. A bit of a Russell spot, huh? I guess so, man. Mm -hmm. Oswald the Tinswell, I guess. Shut up! You're so loud! Me? No, it's freaking game. Oh. 
Oh, it's frozen on my screen. No! How dare you freeze! No. Ah. Mm. There you go. My escape's broken. I broke my escape. How do you do it? So I broke. It. Okay, okay, it's fixed now. It's fixed now. All's well that ends well, I guess. This is our client. Yes, it's Mr. Meathead. <laughs> wait a minute, so I want to do it. Wait a minute, I want to do it. I want to do his voice. I got the perfect voice for him. Hey, so this is that Polly fellow, huh? Oh, uh, yes, the name's Apollo. Look at that, I'm here! Arms all across like red and fight! Yes, sir, you don't mean that literally, do you? The boss told you what I need, right? Don't let me down now, Apollo! <laughs> perfect voice. Yes. Don't worry about your defense, sir, I'm on it. Defense? Your noodle half cooked is too late for defense. My castle been stormed. I kept my cat's been kept. My noodles has been stolen. No noodle? You know Mr. L doing from the noodle stand, don't you, Polly? No nicknames, please. Uh, no, no, of course I don't know him. You know these parts? Not really. And you know the best noodles in town, L do's noodles. Uh, well, who's noodles? What do you want? There's Aaron Phillips Facebook. Kuja Senpai, Kuja X, Senpai, X Chrysalis, ship it like FedEx. What? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, ship it what? like FedEx. <laughs> My noodles, er, help me out there, Trusy at all. You have to ship it like FedEx, come on. <laughs> you have done yet. <laughs> I just noticed something about Aldoon. <sighs> noodle. Look, it's Noodle. Yeah. Noodle. This is Mr. Sky Aldoon, our client. Maybe you can tell us what the problem is, Mr. Eldoon? Anything for you, Trucy Doll! So, you run a noodle stem, Mr. Eldoon! Guy Eldoon's the name, and noodles are my game! Guy! Guy! What a guy! Secrets in the soup! I have been searching in the perfect soup for a year and a half! Oh, that's not that long, really. My family's been noodle men for generations! That does not sound right at all! Got a lot of expectation on my shoulders. Fifteen fathers passing the noodles to fifteen sons! I can't breathe whenever I say whenever I do that voice. It's really bad. That's pretty old noodle. I, I, I want I, to, I want to ship it like that I was, and I pushed it away! I rebelled against my pops, and I picked another lovely hood, but that didn't turn out so well. <gasps> you sound like you're about to die. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Wait. Oh. oh. There was no denying it. Salty broth runs through these veins, boy. So, it was like Destiny that became what you are. Right. Destiny's the word. Oh, I fought it. But at the end, I was bound like that it was a noodle of fate. <laughs> Not a mental image I care to linger on. So last year, I started my noodle stand. The generation of the Elton's noodles. Uh, I need to breathe. Uh, no, you don't. Um, you don't so, need to breathe. So, why they don't go and suffocate? Um, okay. So tell me more about Elton's noodles. Bye. Have a good time. Uh, you know the teams that are my noodles. I made them so salty. Why they're saltier than salt? <gasps> now I really don't want to find out. Daddy is a regular at his noodle stand. You frequently my pop stand up back this attorney days too. Yep, and him and his assistant. I'm s I'm sorry, I'll be sure to drop by our stand suit. Wish good, Sonny. Eh? Heh. <sighs> I wish I could. I give you the for ball about now. What do you mean? It was stolen, my stand, gone. <laughs> Send that to me. I want to paste it and send it like FedEx. I want to send it like FedEx. <laughs> I'm gonna send it to him. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> he just added me on um, Steam. So I'm gonna send it to him now. <laughs> Thanks. Wait, how did you, how did you find out my YouTube? Goose. It's on your freaking page, dude! I... 
Did you forget about that? It, if I go onto your page, it says your YouTube channel. Okay, I'm just going my account. Go! Go! Yeah, it says right here, your YouTube, and it says your name. Oh, it does? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kuja Senpai. There he is. Kuja Senpai. Kuja Senpai. <laughs> <laughs> Koja. <laughs> He's gonna ask, how do I get this? I'm gonna say physics. Eh, uh, there's my, my man that's gone, so... <laughs> they have 2,000 videos. I remember back when the Game Grumps had like 100 videos. So... I like the Pony Grumps. I like the Pony Grumps. <laughs> yeah. It was last night. I was doing my rounds. Oh, my whistle! Blow my whistle, baby, whistle, baby, start down slow. It's like an ice cream truck's bell, but louder. He even gets complaints. Uh, uh, now you're just trying to butter me up. That sounded more like the blues than a whistle. I close up my stand for the night and part by the house. Then this morning, dark and early, it was gone. My keep, my castle. Ooh! My watch is going off again. Watch. <laughs> but at least I know where it is. Maybe some bum Not caught it, it off. Axe, I got it. Just guessing here. Well, I don't care who did it. Without that stand, I finished. All my noodle bowls were in there too. <laughs> That's the saddest thing I've heard all day. You know what, Eddie House? That's the deal. Good luck. Good, huh? Wait. What exactly is your request? My noodle stand. Find it. And the day you bring my baby back is the day you feast on as many noodles as you want. Or does that make it so hot and salty it do balls and kill a man? Then I really need defense. Speaking of defense, that's what I do. I'm a lawyer, not a detective. This is where I live. You drop by if you need the FFO, okay? Uy. Why do you want Kuja? It's a double happy face. Give me a name, Campo. I got noodles to make. Things have certainly taken a turn for the bazaar. Grab the cap. Track back actions of noodle stand thieves. Um, actually, there was something I wanted to ask you about too, Hollow. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. Ah, uh, listen, please, from now, don't be cruel. I lost something last night. That is, something was stolen. Hey, what's this? More thieving of skull. Mm, no, no, I, no, no. I... More thieving of skull duggery. What happened? My mind, no. uh, messed up mine. Well, um. Someone stole a pair of my panties. <laughs> Pant <laughs> panties? Okay, that's close to what I was thinking. And then just the music went back to happy after she said that. Wait, he's, he's eating his hair! Look at it! Look! I'll be right back. I'm gonna go fill up my water bottle. Wait a minute, Myth Freeman, look, he's eating his hair. I'll be right back. Wait, Myth Freeman, wait, but don't leave yet. Eating his hair. Um, so they were, um, stolen your, er, uh, my panties, yes. Uh, er, uh, right, panties. That's great, see? That is true, you know? I was alone at the office last night, and I was only nine years old. I had hung my panties out the window there to dry. When a thief came by, I took them, my favorite panties. I ran after him. To get those back, I shouted, wait! Well, that was certainly brave of you. But I lost him. Without those panties, I don't know what I'll do. That's our great team, yep! Well, at least the scene of the crime is convenient. I'm marking, I'm marking on your map. I'll be heading home now! Remember, my must stand is just empty full of your future, follow. Er, uh, right. And you help out truth y'all there too, you hear? Matt Freeman? Mm-hmm. Look, he's eating his hair. I know. Look, I saw okay. that when I left. Look at that. Slurp, slurp. Things sort of picked up, haven't they? That's so glitchy when they phase in and out. Yep. We have no work yesterday, now we have three cases. Uh, I guess. Let's see where we stand. Not in the courtroom, that's where. 
Well, the first item on our list, Phoenix Wright. Daddy's hit and run accident. We had to find the one who hit him. Who's gonna pay for us then? And the second item, Mr. Eldon's request to find a stool and stand. Which will stand again of all the noodles. And the last request is mine to find my stolen panties. That bowl of noodles is looking better and better. Let's go, Polly, to the streets. Or to the aren't you enthusiastic? How can I not be? Let's crack these cases and you and me. <sighs> Guess we might as well get started. Let's see, a hit and run. Stolen stand. <clears throat> and last but not least, stolen panties. I bet these panties are actually gonna be really revel revelant. Which would be funny. Accident scene. Whoa! Actually, that's kind of funny because in, in the, my game, um, like in the second que quest, that's what you actually see her. Um, she takes your evidence and she puts them into panties. <laughs> Must be the same panties. It, huh, they're is this... pretty big, so maybe. <laughs> Let's see, they're Asian. Let's see, yeah. it's a, this is a pretty big house. So this is the Kataki Mansion. So this is where Mr. Wright got hit by that car. According to the map, this is the place. What a huge mansion. Feels like Chinatown. Apollo, there's a nice looking lady over there. Let's question her. Um, okay. Let's I'm a little curious lady. about... She looks nice. Let's question her. The park over there, too. She don't look nice. Excuse me, um, can we have a few words with you? You want something? Uh, want to, want to voice her? <laughs> I want to do like a really high pitch. <laughs> Wait a minute, no, she looks, she looks big. You want something? Something like that. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do like the one from the well, Big Bang Theory. that husky Harry. voice. Howard! Wait a minute, that husky voice. <laughs> it, it's like the one from the Big Bang Theory. Howard! You want something? <laughs> yes, yes. Like, like <laughs> Janet. Like Janet from my, from Munching Rotato. I don't know who that is, but I'm gonna do that voice because it's They're off genie. the Big Bang. It's off the Big Bang Theory. Whoa, that husky voice! Why am I suddenly sweating? It's quite a house you got there. You must have a lot of money. Huh? Money sounds <laughs> like something my son would call his friends. This is Kenya Family Mansion, little girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you kid with your hair. You want some? Er, me? No, uh, no, no, not a thing. Bye. Actually, you know what that sounds like now that I think what? about it? What? It sounds like um, the girl from Monsters, Inc. Yes, no, the... Mike Wazowski. Mike Wazowski, I'm always watching. Should hey, I, I do have... that voice instead? I can do that one easily. Oh my too. goodness, I look amazing. It's going to be both. <laughs> like I'm still <laughs> looking at Kuja Senpai. Look how many videos I have now. 57. Apollo, we can't leave without questioning her. What if she knows something? But, but, the Kataki family. They're the biggest organized crime syndicate in town. Crap. I need something to drink. Ah, uh, that's a sword. If we're going to ask... Oh. If you're going to ask something, ask it if you're man enough. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, right. Yay. Wait, we have him into shape, ma'am. Does she know no fear? I'm Per, per care, wife of the fourth he head of the Kara family business. It's Kataki. Kataki, whatever. <laughs> Friends call me Little Pen. I'm <laughs> Little Apollo Justice, attorney <laughs> at law. Little? She's little? <laughs> Damn, it looks could kill. This won't be a mass murder by now. Whoa, who's that? She Look. looks familiar. Why? Uh, you you were just showing me pictures. Like, Shut up. There you go. Shut up. Shut up. Shut your face. Shut your mouth. <laughs> I might be playing ticket. I, I am shutting up. Well, I was looking at it, okay? Deal with it. Uh. 
I said I was looking at it. Who's that? She looks. What, what happened? I don't know what happened. Pawn. Who's that? Pawn. Pawn. What? No, it wasn't me and him. Don't worry. No, no, it was Fluttershy. No, <laughs> no, no, it was Fluttershy already. Oh uh, no, 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 no. Who's that? She's looking at the park. Oh, she's pretty. I bet she has a story, you know. There's something about her. Too bad she seems to be a bit in a rush. Ah! I want to look at her. Ah! Tick jackies. Excuse me. Little plum. That's a really cute name for someone. So. Yes. No. <laughs> Whoa! What is it, Apollo? How about you go through me when talking to her, okay, Trucy? Uh, it seems like a bit of a news procedure. I'm a lawyer. I live for news procedures. A little girl. You should know you're gay gangsters. Yes. I thought you you're gay gangsters. You're gangsters. Gangsters. Oh, that means you're the bad guys. Trucy, through me. Please, I'm begging you here. <laughs> With it left. The bad guys, I like the sound of that. I'm going to need some warm tea after this. I do too. Now what can I... It, it takes a lot of hard work to protect a family of fortune. Fortune. A family of fortune. Oh, what happened? So saying the business is, is a slump? There's not else about business if we can help it, please. It was a car accident here last night. Last night? Uh, uh, do you like? Uh, of course, like... you wouldn't know about it. Sorry to bother you. Wait. Y yes. You're talking about that man, aren't you? The one who flew 30 feet and just walked away. That's my daddy. <laughs> I should have known. Of course. One of, uh, one of our cos capos. 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 The something. Hello. Read the rest. Hello. So he made a great point, man. Capo, point man. Um, you're too flourishing too much er, industry lingo? In any case, it been nothing of trouble. I've been cleaning up this mess since morning. <laughs> cleaning up this paint? <laughs> I hope it's paint. Was this paint spilled at the time of the accident? It's around 9 last night, I heard a crash noise. And I found your father drowning in a sea of paint. So you came to his rescue? Your... Your hus my husband, the boss, to take for that. Thank for that. Ooh, who's that? Who, who's that? Skydiver! Hi! 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 What do you want? Uh, I'm doing now you Swedish. I can't do a Swedish accent. <laughs> Alright. Oh, you, my husband, the boss, thank for that. I, I, I just did that line. <laughs> that car that hit your father knocked over this paint. Then turned the corner and sped away. Ah! Oh! Oh! Uh, 
What a shame. What a shame. Eh. Why so serious? <laughs> uh, okay, wait a minute. I'll drive this car. He was just asking if I want to be in the freaking game he's trying to play right there. now. There! There! There's the guy. He, he's going on. <laughs> I hi, had hi, to... Hi! 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 What's up? Hi! Uh, I'm actually playing Little Legend with, uh, with Alex right now, so I cannot be in your live stream right now. Okay, Myth. I'm not streaming, I'm just recording. Damn, but sure, we can be in it if you want to record us playing Little Legend and talk shit. No. I, I, I'm, I'm being fine with that. I mean, I'm, I kind of, I'm kind of playing an attorney game, uh, Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. You okay. playing Big of Legend right now? Nah, he's not playing Little Legend. He's playing another game. Oh. It's Apollo, okay. Apollo Justice, Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. Hello. Hi. Hi. Doing the voice. <laughs> that, that, that was the fucking worst voice I ever heard. Yeah. Well, it, don't, don't question it. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm fine. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I was doing the lady's voice. I don't know why. I just had to make like the most weirdest voice. I can't see it. Anymore. The Janet, Uncle Janet. Uncle <laughs> Janet. What the hell are you getting? Okay, we can see a screen. But... Yes, you can. Is that your screen? <laughs> <laughs> it's my screen. Uh, this is the game I'm playing. It's a how it's, it's still a, recording too. Yeah, we're still recording. Okay, I'm sure that's that, cool. I'm sure that dragon is glaring at me. We can all do voices now. <laughs> Stop doing the voices or I'm gonna go in to my Ah. Uh, what? Ah uh, what? What? I can I, I can actually do voices too. Awesome, no, but we gotta read a lot of English, like when we play Superstar Saga, so it might not be fun for you. Why are you cleaning it up? I was what actually just. I, I was <laughs> actually just. I was actually just finished the, the Walking Dead series. Oh, I love the Walking Dead series. Oh, yeah. Yeah, me too, bro. Which one? The first uh, season or the second season? No, uh, second season. Uh, I think so. I played it when it first came out, and it didn't completely install on mine, so I have to redo it because all the achievements and give give it to me. But it's still so Spanish. So, um, so uh, did did you play the season two? Yeah, I completely finished season two. The last episode didn't give me the achievements, although I finished it. The the only problem is that fucking Clementine gets shot. Mm hmm. I was getting so fucking mad at the game. The game. Yeah. I know someone else. Did, did he shoot Kenny or did he let him, let me live or? I shot him. I I didn't. Because oh, I I, I thought Kenny was being a dick, but. No, because Kenny was. <laughs> Ken, Kenny has been in like the first episode, so I didn't shoot him. No, I I just yeah I shot him because he's kind of being a dick. What what's happened after that one? Hmm. I'll do the voices. What do you mean? I mean, aren't you a gangster? <laughs> don't you have any goons to do dirty work for you? Please. Please. Go through me if you want to. Wah! <laughs> don't be such a stiff lawyer, boy. I suppose we gangsters do have a certain image. Uh, yes. I work community oriented gangsters, you see. The boss likes to give back to the people, see. I know yeah. I bailed myself to the public facilities to get rid of all the garbage. Now there's just paint on the street to deal with. Public Alex. facilities. Yes. This is I weird. Wonder if she means that trash can. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. Yes, but. it is. You are ready to play? Well. Jack, yeah, can you like be Lulu and shoot these guys, please? Why? So Please shoot me. Sorry, kid. I ain't got no idea what you're talking about right now. <laughs> so <laughs> fucking weird. 
Just do it now. Take me out of my misery. I'll just regenerate, but just do we, it. We, we actually got like him. We, we actually got two out. beats from America and we got one remaining. My turn is a hard one. My turn is uh huh? Oh, two pieces of garbage paint on him. Who the hell are you talking to? He's recording. Look at this power up. Does it go in a car? Are you talking to us or the video game? The video Both. game. <laughs> Both. Both. Kind of. I'm reading the Who text. How are you talking to yourself? God damn it! <laughs> I'm trying to record here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I'm trying Welcome to read to the life. text. Welcome to our lives, dude. We have the most like fucked up lives ever. I I just kind of fucked up. Bro. If people are gonna see this, they're probably gonna love it or hate it. I don't know. I don't know either. But we got like two people from America and we got one Romanian and one Swedish guy. Yeah. English, but... <laughs> Wait, we're gonna get fucked up. I'm from hell, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know you're from I'm from Gallifrey. <laughs> I'm from Mom saying this. Ah, uh, that's not a good. Uh, well, well, it is pretty large, so... I <laughs> oh, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh, it's a side view mirror! Looks like it was torn off when it was smacking something. Or someone. What fuck are you smacking? You don't... <laughs> Wait, you don't think? What? I do. Uh, this could be from the car. That that Mr. Right! Wow, when he took off the mirror, I never did that. It was so strong. <laughs> I only have in my pocket for one of these, though. Which do you want to take? I'll take the mirror. But don't take the mirror. I'm taking the mirror. Dude, if you take the mirror, the mirror Fuck. will say break up, bro. Uh, don't take the mirror because I cannot see how beautiful you look every morning. Exactly. New. If I want, I, do, I go look to scary movie. What the fuck does the mirror have to do with the scary movie? I don't know. I don't know, that was in my mind. Right? This is the worst fucking recording ever. <laughs> you know you can still see what you're typing, dude. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. What the fuck is going on? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Are you gonna be insane? YouTube? But it's going on YouTube, yes. Oh my god, people gonna hate it or love it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gonna love it because it's so it, dumb. It, it, I probably gonna think they're gonna love it. Yeah, they probably are. <laughs> oh because, gosh, because this doesn't make any sense. Nope, not at all. Right. Yeah, well, uh, hold up. What the? We <laughs> talking to each other. Yeah, what's up, Alex? After this game, can you play Draven? Uh, yeah, I can try it. Yeah, sure. That new skin looks too awesome to not to play. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> uh, I can hear myself. I'm out. All right, let's do this. That was the worst thing. <laughs> the whole here's here's the whole just the call. The fuck. All right. So, what's this place? This would be Mr. Eldon's house, Philly. Oh, so this is where his stand was stolen from. I can see a piece of evidence lying on the ground already. Hey! Look, there's a police car parked over there. You're right. What's with this sparkly entrance? What is this place? A hospital? There's a sign. Maractus Clinic. Oh, that's where the thief went. The thief? When he snatched my panties, he went into this clinic last night. Maybe that police car is here to find my panties. I doubt it. Well, there's only one way to be sure. Let's investigate. Oh, there you are, Sonny! Let's go see him again. I'm stretching. Uh, will you find anything yet? Uh, um, no, not yet. The longer the roll, wow, the salty or victory bowl gets, just remember that! This bowl of noodles sounding less like payment and more like punishment. I wanna go in there. Going in here. It's the place where that kite snatcher ran. 
Are you sure? Maybe. Let's look for clues. Clues. To a panty snatching. Clues like a pair of panties. Um, Trucy. Could try not saying panties so many times. Panties. So Wait, what's, what's with this car? Wait. There's something about this car. Let's take a closer look. Okay. What's this? Look, a cell phone. Someone dropped it beneath this tire. The car would be crushed for sure. Hmm, I wonder if it belongs to the doctor here. We should bring it to him later. Someone edited the court record. What's this? That reminds me. I once read a record of a case that Mr. Wright worked on many years ago. Huh? Apparently, there was this car with a piece of cloth shoved into the tailpipe. A piece of cloth turned out to be a vital clue to solving the case. Wow! I remember that case record whenever I was checking out a car, and I always checked the tailpipe. Everyone's gotta have a hobby, I guess. Would it be funny? Would it be funny if. Hey! There's, there's something in there! What? Wait a second. Are these your. Ah! My panties! What? Already? Ah, uh, thank you, Apollo. You're a genius. Amazing. No, no, really. Don't mention it. Don't mention it to anyone around here. Or freaking Don't kill anyone. No, I'm serious. I'm really impressed. Oh, uh, God, it's so quiet. But I don't care. It's fine. You must have a nose for finding girls' panties. Be good music. Uh, um, what are those? My little panties, of course. They come home to mama. I can't wait to use them. You put them on now. Watch closely now. See nothing in the panties. Ta da! Whoa! Where did that come from? How did that bowl get in their panties? My panties are an extra dimensional space. Anything can fit in there. Then my magic panties. It's one of my best tricks. Magic panties. They love them over at the Wonder Bar. I do shows there nightly. You mean those panties are a prop? You could have taught me a little sooner. Trucy's panties added discreetly, put discreetly away in Trucy's pocket. Well, that's one case closed at least. What are you saying? I still have to catch the Sally Devil that ran off with the tool of my trade. All right. So I can tell you that we're not finished searching with this garage anyway. You know what I want to send you now? What? I went to look up Trixie. Hey, look at that. The mirror's been broken off. Now this is a clue. What? You smile like you know something I don't. You want to keep a clue from me, are you, Polly? A clue? Let's see. Show evidence. I think I do have the clue you got in mind. Uh, what about this mirror? Take that. My clue is this. The panties. Oh. Whoa, it's the same color and size as everything. Perfect match. I guess we could check it out. Hmm, two pieces of garbage with paint on them. Look at this, Apollo. Doesn't this go in a car? It's side view mirror. Looks like it was torn off or when I was maxing to something. Or someone. Well, looks like we've solved the case. So the car that hit Daddy last night is sitting right in front of us. Yep. Wow, you put the pro professional in, Apollo. Gee, thanks, Juicy. Apollo! Huh, what is it? Now that we've solved this case, we should go report to Daddy. He'll know if we leave him alone too long, knowing him. Um, okay, he doesn't seem to type that mope, though. This is hardly a case of worth reporting. Dogs. So you're stealing Elder's noodles, was it? I best out for mother's son. That stand seemed to share a salt. Mm-hmm. Salt runs the family, you might say. I bet high blood pressure does too. So your stand that his noodles was stolen. Oh, it wasn't just a stand that was stolen, Sonny Boy. I lost those wobbly wheels, my salt got scoop on, my stain sign. I didn't just lose sand, I lost a legend. <sighs> No one's just legend and gets away with it on my watch. Let's find that legend, Apollo. There's my time for a new one, anyways. Any more details you can give us about the sand? You bet, Sonny Boy. It happened last night. I was wearing my whistle like always, crying the town it was. Smell broth, build street, thick and salty. Go home, well, right before 10 p.m., I reckon. It's not even the late night market. I washed my bowls and gave the wheels a of grease. Then I went inside. When did you notice? When did you notice that it had been stolen? Early this morning before the sun rose. Work starts early. 
that makes people eat noodles for breakfast. Wash it on the oh, most of us on this show. Source of re ruination. I say it in my whole life in its name, my whole being. It took everything. All my soup suck, my noodles and bowls, and my dreams. At least I left one. At least I left one bowl. Look there on the ground. If you don't find that sand today, then I'll be forced to walk the streets, battling that ball, my last ball. Please, I'm under enough pressure that here it is. This is it. So I have to leave my pants ran to. Right, shame that is. But then steal, make it my leg lock, not some pretty girl's panties. <sighs> the garage, right? You don't think the thief lives there, do you? Fuh. Eh, I won't put it that good in the doctor. Do I take a little animosity here? <laughs> Let's make sure to check out that garage thoroughly. We did. Clinic. All right. Do you have everything here? Yes, I do. I feel clinic. Huh? That's right. It's gone. Maybe it's gone for an examination. Probably back soon. Let's wait. I think it might take some time. Eddie's always loves examinations. Don't ask justice. You don't want to know. You don't want to know. Why do we come back here later? Yeah, I guess you're right. Where should we go? New York. Okay. <laughs> My answer to everything, New York. Here's my answer to everything. Pull him. Found Owl, whose mirror it belongs to. Ooh, you're tougher. Oh, you're tougher than. Oh, that's your voice. Oh, oh you're tougher than you look. Tougher than you look. Spit it out. Who was it? Where do they live? I just, just forgot. <laughs> I'm here, Apollo. It was a Mirage's clinic. Why? I'm right, aren't I? Mecklen, huh? Mecklen. Maractus. Maractus, huh? Isn't that a Pokemon? I don't know. Isn't that Cactus Pokemon Maractus? I don't know. F -f 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 from 5th Gen? Let me look. I have the power of Google. Let me see. I'm gonna look it up. I remember the name of it. Okay, then. I'll just keep playing my game then. Liquid DNA. I want. Oh, it's pretty. I want it. Maractus, it's a name. Maractus. This seems to be something. It's yep, it's Pokemon. Mm -hmm. What is it? Oh, yeah, it's that cactus thing. This thing. Oh, I want to smoke it. <laughs> oh, what is wrong with me? That is cute. That is cute. All right. Um. Yes. Why is she all quiet all of a sudden? Something wrong? Uh, no. Uh, you know my name. Thanks for the information. All right. It seems we're done here. Let's go and examine here. Bowl. Is this yours, Mr. Elzun? Hey, that's there's the heart of salt. I'll do noodles. The bowl throws my salty soup. Pretty soon it's gonna taste like noodles. Wow, it does smell like noodles. All my other bowls got taken away of my stand. Get it back, sonny boy. I'm begging you. Ball added to the court record. 
I don't think I got anything else to check here. Go ahead and move. Uh, how about the Kentucky Mage? Do you have everything here? I was going to examine. I don't think. I don't think we need that car window anymore. Or do we? Eh, whatever. We're not even going to. I don't want to take it. Just keep the car window. Keep the car window. Hmm. -mm. Screw the right talent agency. If your clinic, is there anything here? No. I'm just gonna go and examine something, because I'm just too bothered by this. Whoa, that fork is floating! Not. Why do I have plenty of plastic spaghetti here? That right there is the whole reason why I became a magician. Do tell. So I played just like this in the restaurant once. The floating fork looks so real, that's when I knew. Someday I make magic more amazing than spaghetti. Ah, uh, derp right there. Should we move? Talking mansion. Tell my balls by the soft logo. I just got a bell to noodles. They come to the stand. They sit. They drink tea from that bowl. You see the bottom. The basics like Mr. Todd is genius. No. A very high concept. You can't apply a trade if you don't know the tools. Remember that. Yes, sir. Juicy has a thing for professionals, clearly. So I should have. So I should have my interest in and much little else. Congratulations on that case. My mess and I'm begging you. My phone's going off. I don't shut up. Wow, this part is a lot longer than I thought it would be. Wow. Yeah, let's go. Let's look at a little couple other things. See if I can find anything. Let's see, let's look, should we look at the garage again? I don't think we find anything. Okay. Do you ever see the panties? Nope. All right. Let's see. I bet we don't have anything to do there. Except for just calm places. Go ahead and check where we can move here. Hey, Fuel Clinic, Cognition, I'll do this house. Darn it! I don't know where to go. Let's go look at Hickfield Clinic one more time. Nothing. This is about like an hour long, by the way. Yeah, I know. An hour, eight minutes, 37 seconds. Anyways, I really don't know what to do next, so I guess I'll see you next time. Bye. Alright, what the heck is it recording? <laughs> and you're on YouTube. Ah. I have talent agency. Move, 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 move to the Kentucky Mansion. We gotta look for things. Eh, yeah, weird. Why is this what? Why is this old lady doing? What are you doing? Uh, looks like there's some kind of trouble by the park gate. I smell an instant. Ma'am, there's no injury to the park. Now don't tell where I can't go, young fella! I always want to do this park on my way home! Please! Please, uh, get down from there. You'll hurt yourself, ma'am. It's quite the determined old lady. Personally, I'm a little more interested in this park. You and I think about that feeling in a movie. Let's go take a look. Maybe we can see something famous. Hey, miss, stay out of the park. You got mad at me. Um, did something happen here, officer? Huh? Uh, no, move along. I can see. Why don't you just go play something else? We're not kids and we're not playing. I'm an attorney. Something wrong? Ah, Detective Sky. We're fine, ma'am. Nothing to report. Detective? 
Is this Emma from the other game? Um, from Case 5? Like, the girl that was with uh, the other one? Emma? Why is she wearing a lab coat? How they went to common people as people are dressed. And these kids are curiosity seekers, ma'am. They claim to be lawyers. Ah, why don't you kids run along and play someplace else? Look, we're not. Or I might spill something on that pretty face of yours. One of those have experienced with hyd hydroxia trace. Now, come again. What hydroxy stuff? Whatever it is, doesn't sound good. Let's go through the How do I drink it? I'm gonna keep up from the riffraff, you would. Yes, ma'am. Girl, how can I get more information like this? Why don't we ask that nice woman across the street? Oh, yes, that's a nice woman. Mm. Ah, ah, ah. Talk. Hey, about the people part. Uh, can I ask you a question? Beth Freeman? Beth Freeman? Dirty's gone. What? What happened in the park across the street? Oh yeah, quite the commotion. Chicago Lightning, that's impossible to say. Chicago, huh? Gunfire, someone was killed. Strange circumstances, too. You're kidding! What a morning. Trouble everywhere. The park, the gate, even our house. Something happened to your house, too? A crime without an honor, without remorse. It's a private manner. Wanna hear about it? Somehow I don't think no is an acceptable answer, Polly. So, what happened at your house? Bloomers, last night. Eh? I got a bad feeling about this. Me a little longer talky, the victim of a panty snatcher. What? So it was just my panties that were stolen? Got you too, did they? Poor thing. Like I said, whoever did this is a hardened criminal. It wasn't you, was it? N no, of course not. Mercy. I have heard the word that panties have been disappearing lately. And the missing panties I lost somewhere in common. It's hard to imagine who's in Mr. panties or so much, something much in common. I've managed Mr. Kotaki's panties. <laughs> I know, we'll find the bloomers too. Right, it's all what they're made of. What have you got me into this time, Trucy? Oh, it's Alita. Oh, what? What? Leo. Why did you say Alita? I don't even know. Ah, uh, uh, hello, mother. She's a Kotaki too? Uh, um, miss, miss. Hmm? Here, our flyer. The right anything agency? A anything agency? Yeah. Do you like the new flyer? So, um, this is our defense attorney, Mr. Apollo Justice. Attorney? Drop by our office. We'll be waiting. Ah, goodbye. Why'd you give her our flyer? I don't know. She must you could use some help. She's the heiress of a gangster dynasty. She doesn't need our help. I wouldn't be so sure. Eh? Whatever. What's the fit clinic? Oh, nothing. Oh, what could happen? Yeah, my clinic died. All I did is just go over here. I said, okay, don't worry. Nothing bad happened. Eh, yeah, jam in the car. I understand there's a name was outside, but a police car also I see your back. Maybe they're tax evaders. Ah, sorry miss, no going to the clinic today. Something happened? Oh, uh, oh, no, nothing to see here. Move along. You have to find some place else to play doctor. Look like the right age to be playing doctor. We'll need a little more info on this Marax clinic. We have Mr. Eldoon, he's their neighbor and all. We check out that garage. What if the thief who stole my panties is still in there? <sighs> the panty police. Yes. Max Clinic. Hey, do you think something happened next door? There's a police car out front. <laughs> Probably gave someone food poisoning, I bet. If anyone's at risk of food poisoning. That police car that got here this morning, actually. That's what they were up to, but they wouldn't even tell me. Their neighbor. Uh, <laughs> Not that I was surprised much, the doctor looks for the wrong crowd! It was a matter of time before he got what's coming to him. Ah. The wrong crowd? Never you mind about that. 
I must know. I must know, I must know, I must know, I must know. Ugh, fine. Oh, whatever. Good hippo clinic. Excuse me, things over here. Oh, something. Jim Petit, the field clinic. Yo, how goes it? Daddy, how do you feel? Oh. Beth? Not bad, Trixie. Not bad. It's good to have you youngins on the, on the case. Let old Daddy O get some very rest R and R. Oh, the elderly need their rest. Uh, isn't he only 33? Yes. Um, we cleared up most of the cases. Hey, I was right about you. Come, complaint, complaint. I'm doing stuff too. Tell me what you found out if you want to. Ah, what happened? Stop clicking buttons. Enthusiasm is overwhelming. Well, I certainly didn't expect you to be back this early. Polly's amazing! He found my panties so quick! Almost like he was the one who stole them! You have an interesting concept of praise, Trixie. And... Did you find the mad driver who gave me a 30 feet toss? Apparently it was a doctor from the Max Clinic. Hmm... Max Clinic. Nah, not good, mind you. That reminds me of police cars parked outside the clinic. Maybe something happened? Where's this what Mirage's is... clinic any? This Mirage's clinic anyway. I've heard about the rumors. The clinic had been making good money. You didn't lose your deodorant it, or anything like that? You don't need anything like that at store. No. Store. No, I don't need it. You don't need any snacks. Okay. Bad. Okay, boy. The t ties the original crime, the Kentucky, the Kentucky family. <laughs> um, the Kentucky family? He did that on purpose. So injured, you, you can take to the public hospital, see? You use them in uh, like client for their patch up jobs. Interesting. Look like something can happen in that park. Uh a body was found there unusual circumstances. Circumstances. Con circumstances. circumstances. But more than usual to being dead. It's not all I'm in any case. Right, let's ignore it and find that noodle stand. Whatever happened to professional curiosity? Thanks, really. If I get tired of sleeping, maybe I'll head down to the Mecca's place. Maybe hit um up for some a little legal action would do me some good <sighs> I was wondering whenever I got paid well I solved the case of your accident and um, found a missing article of clothing my panties my panties that, leaves. that leaves a noodle stand Feel free to drop in if you get stuck. I'd be happy to help with anything not involving money. Goodbye, quid pro crew. Help pro bono. Right, back to the office to plan our next move. Something's actually gonna happen here. What's gonna happen? Oh, it's Alita. You, 
There's one from the Kataki place. E yes. I don't know why I said Alita. Alita! I don't know. She looks like an Alita. This way, please. Um, thank you. My name is... El why did I just guess the name? I said Alita! She just looks like she looks like an Alita. My name is Alita Tiala. I I have a request. What? What happened? No. Oh. Your request. Uh, do you want to do uh, Alita's? I don't know. You, you tell me what to do. Her uh, voice. You tell. I I don't know what voice you would have. <laughs> I mean, I don't really do voices, but you do. Me either. I'm she, not a voice actor, I'm she'd sorry. Ha she'd have a voice like this. Uh, you're curious. Let me guess, something's been stolen? Um, your flyer. It says, now defending, so I thought... What? You mean, you want me to defend you? Me? Maybe you can tell us what happened. Were you hit by a car? Did someone steal your stand or your panties? No. No. I'm not the client, actually. The client would be my, well, my fiancé, as opposed to call him. Fiancé? What happened to him, then? He was arrested this morning. The charge was murder. Murder? Have you heard about what happened at the park? What happened? I haven't been told all the details. But I do know a body was found in the park, near the Kentucky Mansion. There's a lot of police cars there. Apparently, the victim was shot with a pistol. But here, the circumstances of the shooting were rather unusual. And your fiance was arrested for this? Um, what sort of person was your fiance? So, what's your story? You're frequent in the Kentucky Mansion, yes? Are you a member of their um, organization? No, not yet. Not yet. You see, I'm to be married next month to the boss's son. The boss's son? So he has a, a, a gangster. Yes, but the Kotakis are locally responsible gangsters. I thought it'd be nice for a change, quitting my boring job, live the good gangster life. I think you're on to something. Miss Kotaki, I like the sound of that. I'm not sure your daddy would care much for that. Your fiance is the Kotaki's family only son, correct? His name's Waki. Waki Kotaki. I brought a photo. What the? Waki Kataki. Uh, well, that's quite the photo. That's Waki. Looks like a guy, but he's a guy. Well, it doesn't look like a guy. Guy with really long hair. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I know. Oh, uh, he can be powerful and menacing, but he's so cute. <laughs> but if he's the boss's only son, yes, I'm sure he'll take his father's place someday. Say, I'm boss already of this agency. Please help my walkie, please. Right, my first solo defense case. Crime boss son or not. I'll prove he's innocent. I I prepared a letter of request. I know you need those. Letter of request? Add to the court record. Right, let's go check out the scene of the crime. <laughs> Polly, look at Happy Jack, they claim in its shell. My lord, this is it, the place where the battle begins. Bum, 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 <laughs> you need something? <laughs> ah, yes, we're attorneys. I was hoping we could see Mr. Walkie Sorry, he's in questioning right now. It could take a while. Drat. Oh well, I guess I'll have to come back later then. So much for that battle. What do you think Walkie would sound like? Like, come on, man! Or something like the Scout? I think it sounds like the Scout. Scout from TF2? Yep. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Yes, sir. So, this is it. My first murder crime scene. Oh, it's you kids again. Look, can't you find some other place to play? We're not playing. We're um, investigating. Aren't we, Apollo? Sir, I have a letter of request here. 
Letter of. Huh? Why does it say hit request on it? This challenge must have used the Kotaka stationery. Excuse me, coming through. Ah! What? He looks familiar. Why is Kristoff here? I thought he was... What? Why is he? Different. Why? 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 I th Brother? Uh, why? I thought he was arrested. Uh, who's this guy? I must say. Let's see, it kind of looks like he... He looks kind of gay. <laughs> Rude. But probably true. <laughs> Uh, uh, I must say, I'm used to be infected by the ladies, but this is the first time I felt this way of a man. Mr. Gavin? It's not Mr. Gavin. Uh, Fraulein, what a sweet morsel like you doing such a dismal place. Can I help? Uh, y yes. Please, officer, fellow here won't let us in. We even have a letter request. You must be exhausted standing out here. I'll take it to the scene of the crime. Oh, really? By your leave, officer. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Of course, sir. Aha, very well. This way, following. We. Hey, what about me? There's a stand. Well, I know. Enjoy your investigation. Thank you, we'll, we'll see you again. Ask the one for line. I'll be riding on it. I bet we will. I know who it is, too. Oh, who is it? Let me look at his name. Oh, my, yes! He's actually in my investigation. Oh, he is? What's his name? Kavlin Gavin. I mean, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I've heard that name. L A V I E R. You mean clavier? Clavier. Clavier. That's how you punch. Maybe say it. <coughs> oh, look. A corpse. What? Hey, it's just a mannequin. Wow, I sure got me. Ahem. Why, that's exactly what you're doing here? Oh, it's Emma. Oh, it's you. How'd you get to get in here? Oh, Magic. Right. Well, um. More like a prince, you really let us in. Him again. That glimmer's flop. Always getting in my way. But she doesn't like him. Anyway, this scene was off limits. Excuse me, we got a letter of request. Hmm, one moment. Why is she holding the big magnifying glass? Hmm. I don't recognize that handwriting anywhere. Different analysis, this is written by Alita Tiala. Thanks. It took you 30 minutes to find that out? So, what's up with the mannequin there? It's taking the place of the body, preserving the scene of the crime as it was found. The body was pulling the stand? Yes. So you're a defense attorney, aren't you? Detective Emma Sky. It is her! It's her from the old game! I'm in charge of this crime scene. She doesn't seem that happy about it. She doesn't seem that happy about many things. Just to know how to stay out of the way. I always carry two pairs of handcuffs, just in case. I'm gonna take this guy. Quiet, please. It's snack time. Nom 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 nom. We're not making much progress here. Let's not be very busy. <sighs> I never seem to get a lucky break. Back after nine years, and they won't even give me the position that I requested. And then I hear he gave the defense attorney life. He? Who's he? Next defense attorney? Nine years ago. So, um, huh, it seems this was nine years ago whenever, whenever they met Emma Sky, so, and Clavier was 17 whenever they fought, faced him in court. Never mind, it was, he was, never mind, derp, that was not that same one, that was with Edgeworth, I'm derping. I just knew that he was, he fought Clavier in that one court scene, and that was seven years ago, so Clavier must be 24. But we need to investigate. Investigation will be carried out by professionals scientifically. She's not gonna let us check out the crime scene, is she? Hey, Apollo. A very unscientific analysis tells me something here is very suspicious. I think I know what you mean. It's kind of hard not to notice. Better check out what we came here to find, at least.
That's crap, we need to investigate. Apollo, look, that stand. This is his Eldoon, I've noticed. Well, we solved the case of the missing stand, at least. Though the circumstances could stand to be better. Let's go to, uh, Phoenix. Since I know Phoenix knows Emma, so it might be him who she's talking about. Ah, you're back. Ah, you're back. Run into some problems? Oh, Polly, didn't you want to tell Daddy something? Who, me? No, I'm fine. Really. What is it? Is So there's a problem. No, no problem. Actually, I got a defensive quest. A defensive quest? Is that a problem? That is a problem. That's huh? A problem. I've given up the court. I'm not a lawyer anymore. The quest is for me. Oh, right. <laughs> You're a lawyer, aren't you? Um. He's doing that on purpose. I know it. So, so what is about this defense request? It's related to the murder of Peter Park, actually. How far is the video uploaded? 92%! <laughs> Guess what? We found Mr. Alden's news line at the scene of the crime. Did you know? That's unusual indeed. Never heard the full news stand to use for a murder weapon. Oh, oh, guess where, where I'm uploading the video right at right now. It's right where Mr. Kristoff breaks down and smacks this thing. You can see it. Yeah. He's a psychic type. I knew it. Dirty. Dirty. Uh, I think the murder weapon was something else. I mean, you don't know what the murder weapon was? It's funny, detective, they weren't let in the scene. What kind of detective was a lab coat anyway? A lab coat? Hmm. Hmm. Didn't, Didn't think she'd be involved. Oh, well, zerp. <laughs> With this. You know her? You can say that. So, you know her, don't you? I met her on a case. This was about 10 years ago. She was still a high school student at the time. Oh. They make her about the same age as me. That's my daddy. He knows all the police types. Oh, wait. Maybe you know that other guy, too. That other guy? That shining prince on the motorcycle? Hmm? Prince? Prince? Oh, well, tell me more about this prince of Trixie's. Indeed, a connection father. He was at the crime scene. He looked just like Mr. Gavin. Did he know? Uh, hey, did he now? You know him? My guess is his... <laughs> Crutcher... Gavin's younger brother. His brother? Well, actually, after a fashion. We're acquaintances. Acquaintances in after fashion. Kev Kevin... Gre Gavin. Clavier. Cadmere and Grav Gavin, rock and roll god incarnation. Incarnate. Incarnate. Clavier, what a so lovely I'm name. So I'm being distracted by Pope. No. <laughs> Stretching. Clavier, what a lovely name. He's so dreamy. I didn't know Mr. Gavin had a brother. And what was he doing out there? I feel... I have a feeling you'll be crossing paths again soon. Now, what was the problem again? Uh, having trouble investigating the park crime scene? and uh, Crime scene at the park? Yeah, the city won't let us. Go to the office under the skin top hat. You'll find a bottle of white powder. It's drugs. <laughs> Try talking to... Go uh, kind. Top, taking... That to the def this detective. White powder? Oh, it's not what I think it is. <laughs> it's drugs. It's, it's cocaine. Just take it, it to her. <laughs> it'll, it's, it'll, it'll be fine. You'll see. Oh, my brain. Oh, and tell her I said hi.
You need to go get the was the <laughs> special stuff. Where's the silk the top hat? hat at? There it is. It's <laughs> as much people's top hop hat is right mentioned. Let's take a closer look. Huh? It's cocaine. Hmm. Whoa. You know what this is juicy? I remember finding some in Daddy's treasure when I was little. I thought it was sugar, so I licked it. He got mad at me. It's getting more and more suspicious. The powder placed gingerly in the pocket. I really wonder what it is now. <laughs> He's sure to know what that white powder is. Well, why don't you go ax him? A question. A question. She looks so friendly. Um, does this ring any bells? Uh, is that? It couldn't be. Where'd you get that? Apart from the office. You work at the right and call offices, yes? Er, yeah, sort of. Detective Sky, how do you know my daddy? D -d daddy, I'm sorry. Did you say you were to see right? Phoenix Wright's daughter. What? Phoenix Wright has a daughter? You seem shocked. Well, well, if you're Mr. Roy's daughter and you're his apprentice, then I'm available to help you in any way I can. Oh, uh, thanks. You can start by not calling Mr. Roy's apprentice. This powder is used for detective fingerprint. It's fingerprint powder, not cocaine. Fingerprints? Oh. I guess you might call it a memento from the time I spent with Mr. Wright. My powder memories. Find any evidence with fingerprints on it. Please let me know. But this for prints. Which is quite the eager beaver all of a sudden. I think I see something. Oops. It's a knife. A shiv to be precise. Oh like the child oh like the childman shiv in TF2? Oh, lingo. The detective really Kentucky is sort of no gangsters. This are so this belongs to him. Wait, what's the blue weapon of this? Uh-huh. Look at this. There's a handprint on the shiv. A handprint, and it'll be a fingerprint. Let's investigate. Right, first to the fingerprint you want to examine. Choose a fingerprint. Look closely at the handle. See, there's more than one fingerprint there. There's black spots. That's right. Pick the one you want to analyze. Right, let's get detecting. Wow, she's practically glowing with excitement. We're spraying some aluminum powder over the print. Try the screen like this, see? The left by the print absorbs the aluminum powder, so you just dust it on. Blow it off. Blow? It's like whistling. You know how to whistle, don't you? Just push your lips together. Wow, amazing. It's like magic. Eh, isn't it, though? Right. Let's give it a shot. And instantly, it's important that you cover the entire print with powder. Powder all over the place. Ah. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you need to put a warning in there. Ow. <laughs> warning, ear rape. <laughs> warning. Might contain ear rape. Might contain. Amounts of air rape. You good here. Quite impressive. Next to match the print. You peaked the it <laughs> so much. I'm dizzy. Has samples. That'd be hilarious if I could have done it. That'd be. We both tag team. That whose fingerprints this belongs to. Hmm, that doesn't sound as much as fun as actually finding the print. Well. Big person of prints you think this is. Probably have a good idea who's knife this is already. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so the fingerprints do own to the defendant. Yes, isn't it amazing? Ah, power of science, it's my life. 
Paolo sees sparkling and undimming. Looks sharp, spirits up. The real fight's yet to come. Shut up, Polly. Trial hasn't even started. I'm already losing. I did the court record. I still see something. Trash cans. There's gotta be a good clue or two around here. You win your trash cans. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Please. Can you see I'm doing my. Huh? But look. Another pair of underwear. Wow, Apollo. Your jeans are fighting panties. Stop saying that. Wait. These aren't. They're not mine. Could these have been stolen too? Panty. Bloomers added to the court record. These are definitely little plums. Oh, we found those. Ugh. Let's go ahead and get talking. Or came in late last night. The body was found much as you see it now. Except it was a real body. But why? Why was a body pulling a noodle stand? If I knew the answer to that, I would still I would still be here. What's the cause of death? Bullet wound to the temple. He was shot by a pistol. Pistol. Not the easy thing to do. Come by the day and age, unless you're a cop or a gangster. Incidentally, Thanks, the victim's gangster. name was mm -hmm. Pal Maractus. I see if I'll report in fact. Maractus Opal's report added the court record. I mean, really, what's up with this case? It's enough to make me want to run off, pulling a mysterious news stand behind me. Not so mysterious, actually. We should tell her, Apollo. After all, we know who came, Stan came from. I like the story, I didn't come here to play games, you know. Actually, we do know where the new one came from. Lindle Stan's owner is... Mr. Wright. He's 46. He looks old. He's 19. How old is Alita? 21. She's 25. She's 42. He's 46. Hold it. He's unknown. She's 15, and Phoenix Wright is 33. Clavier, 24. It even excludes my exclusion that it is a year older. Who's the old guy? This is the preparative of Elder's new officer, Elder himself. Famous in this part of town. Not bad, I guess. Mr. Wright picked the right kids for this job. It saved me a lot of work, thanks. We'll stand added to the court record. What sort of person was the victim anyway? You mean what did he do? He was a doctor. A doctor? I'm starting to see a connection here. Who me? I'm just supervisor for this crime scene. <sighs> Detective Sky. Hmm. I was out of the country for a while. I came back to be a forensic scientist. Ooh, why are we starting abroad? Something like that. I was studying in Europe. Forensic science, mind you. When I got back here, they threw me in criminal affairs, just like that. Why did you just become a forensic expert in Europe? I suppose that was an option, but... I had a lot of favors to repay people back here. Favors? Wasn't she in high school when she left? What? What's that look for? I was involved in an incident before I left. Mr. Wright and his people helped me out. I owed him. Really? I had no idea. If she's been out of the country for a while... She probably doesn't know what Mr. Wright's current... Uh, State of Affairs. Let's tell a bit more about the defendant. He's the only son of the Kataki family, yes? Waki Kataki. I don't know if he's the boss or son, but he's certainly throwing his weight around violently in the detention center. I see. Why was he arrested in the first place? You are a defense attorney, aren't you? You're not his by any chance. Or actually, yes I am. Well, we have a witness to the moment of the crime. Eh? Witness called the police. Testifying during the trial tomorrow. What? Which tell us a bit more about the victim? Well, let's see. Apparently, he is the physician at the clinic in the area. Quite well off, too, from the sound of it. The clinic's name is The Racked Clinic. Hmm, maybe that's why the ca car was parked there. What? You went to the clinic? Yeah. Though so a related issue. I told the detective about the case of the stolen noodle stand. Yeah! I see, so that means Dr. Mrantis stole the stand and pulled it all the way up here. That seems seem to be the case. But why? Don't ask me. So have you met the defendant? Ah, uh, uh, no. Listening hours are almost over at the detention center. You might think about wrapping up here and heading over. 
good idea. I don't know what good it'll do. We have a witness and a knife for Prince. I haven't mentioned that I've got a bad feeling about this. Don't worry. It's like a right tradition. Some traditions I can live without. Hey, right, let's go! June 15th, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. I'm sorry, meeting hours for the day are all done. But we still have three minutes. What's your request? We don't expect anything. While well, they're talking in the private room with him. The father? You mean like the priest? I mean the suspect's father, Mr. Winfred Big Ones Kataki himself. Not someone I care to meet. Die you! You're the one on your way out, old. Uh, ah, they're here. Well, he looks powerful. This guy radiates power. Power with a cute apron. You walk. You walk his lawyer. Yes, yes, sir. Well, I'm Big Wins Kataki, fourth head of the Kataki family. Capiche? Or actually, I can't speak with your son, Mr. Justice. Yes, my son's innocent. He killed no one. If you were found guilty, it wouldn't be good. Capiche? Uh, yes, I'm all about capiching. Capiching loud and clear. You gotta do more than just understand to make it. You learn, though. Even the lesson comes at the end of your short life. I don't feel so good. What's the big guy? What the big idea, old man? You can't treat me like a kid no more. Not now. You know why? I, I, I want to go to the clinic. I like it there. You must be lucky. I just know I is a hard time. Bzzzoi. You see, when I get out of here, things change. Silence. I kill you. My apologies, Mr. Justice. He's really such a nice boy. Forgive me if I have a hard time believing that. Ha, you can't take me under your wing this time, old man. Hurt me? I don't need no try. I did it. I think that's enough for today, Mr. Justice. Don't let me down tomorrow. So much for talking to our client. I made so much progress today. We even found my panties. I had fun, at least. Of course, the biggest mystery of all remains. How am I supposed to build the case for the trial? Oh, I almost forgot. It's time for my show. Tonight, I'm performing at the Wonder Bar. You should come and check it out. Okay. To be continued. Time for court. Oh, I saw you here today. He said his old foot injury was acting up. Oh, the injury. He was all smiles yesterday. Yes, he smiled when he said we'd be fine as long as you're there, Trissy. Yes, fine. We'll be fine. Here comes justice. I started my voice ringing at 5 this morning. Ooh, do some now. I want to see. Or, uh, here. Huh? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I want to see. No, I'm here. Mean, here. My name's Apollo Justice, and I'm fine. I sounded more mm -hmm. like a self mantra than voice training. I'm fine, I'm fine. You know what I'm saying. Lucky. Ah, good, good morning. Yo, sup? Hit me with a guilty verdict. G. T if I care. You just hang loose and let the things go with the flow. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not really. Walkie, don't be running your mouth like that in here. See, that's the difference between me and you, old man. I ain't afraid of no cops. You just can't keep real when that spends time, hard time to pin. You have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Seems like we've both been voice training too, Apollo. I was fears realized. Trial's starting and I still haven't had a real talk with my client. June 16th. 10 o'clock a.m. District Court. Courtroom number four. Oh, it's court number four. Oh, there's Clavier. Court Court is, yes, here, here again. Here again. Court is, is now in session. For the trial, you walk it, could you? Kentucky. 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 Defense is ready, Your Honor. Ready to rock and roll, her judge. Ah, it's him. The pre guy from yesterday. He's a prosecutor. Mr. Cabin's brother. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Never mind. Long time no see, Prosecutor Long Gavin. Long time no see. Were you taking a leave of absence? You know that little band I started my free time? Thing is, we got really popular. Hard to say nine to your fans when three of your singles go platinum, ja? 
Utah. <laughs> I see. Well, to be honest, I was a little concerned. I feared that you might still be distracted over the that one trial. Yes. I'm the bad man. Not to worry, her judge. I wouldn't miss the tag in the club for the world. It was even more than the obby pass to one of my cousins, Ja. How could I pass up a chance to see the true strength of the little who passed it by brother? Uh. It was worth cancelling a show, too. Oh crap, there's someone in here. Understood. Give me this! Give me this! Give me this! Give me this. Cracker! Cracker. Oh. Mm. You may give your opening statement to the cult. Before that, I was thinking. Is that Ed holding my bit serious? It is court of law. There's no way to get the crowd jumping her judge. They're not supposed That's to not supposed to jump in this cult room. Act on, baby. Today we play it my way. Oh, this is good music. That's better. What's that noise? Sometimes you have to get on the order and not to get down prosecuting. This is crazy. This is awesome. Yes, I believe. You only find out by asking the defendant right here, right now. Because I'm not deniable truth that he shot the victim. What do you mean, undeniable? If you are declared to anyone her justice, glare at the pump in the defendant's chair. His claim was witnessed quite clearly, you see. Very well. Please admit this victim to the court. Darn it. Hey, your recording's almost done. Yep. Nine. Not yet. First, there's a little matter to clean up. We could talk without the accompaniment. I swear I could see their guitar for the second. What is it, Prosecutor? Gavin. A murder for a judge. Why did the little punk do it? Why did he kill the director of the Mike's clinic? OBJECTION! Not so fast. The defendant has, doesn't have to explain that. Oh, what if the defendant specifically requests to do so, as he did this morning? I want to give a shaft out to my homies, I believe he said. What? What is right? They always say that, on stage, you should hit the crowd with speed and ferocity. Sounds like you got you good, huh, Polly? Well, it's high unusual, unusual, but... The court will hear the defense confident in his motive in this crime. It looks like your recording is done. So you it son is. are the defendant. What are you? I ain't your son, old man. Except to Kataki, that's prepared to step strong. Oh, it's rendering. You step to a public official. You must be prepared to step into jail. You got to hand it to him. Rocky sure has guts. It's not guts I'm worried about. Very well then. This court will hear your testimony on the defendant's <laughs> motive. What the fuck was that? I don't know. It was your mouth. It was your face. Oh. I'll tell you one thing, that duck was a cracker. Somebody had shown what's what. I was in his clinic about half a year ago, messing my up something bad. Then let him go without a word. See you later, bye. So I gotta go in, get in the dark package up again. That's the item figured out. No, oh, she's gonna let me pass. That's when I went to his pad that night. You know what I'm saying? You're saying you were one of the patient, the victim's patients? Last time going down when keeping it real and straight. Do that. I'll tell you one thing, that dog is whack. 
Hmm, very well. The defense may begin the cross-examination. I can't believe this is the first time I'm hearing about all this. I'll tell you one thing, that doctor was a quacker. I'm gonna go look at all my evidence. So this is what I got. Yep. So you're a patient at the Marist Clinic half a year ago, huh? For what reason? I watch my call, Makavan. Can you explain precisely what's wrong? We had a little running with the rival his family. It's when I pulled the jack move. Run into the man bush. She busts the cab right at me. Going to my sources, you couldn't stand the trace of waiting. I ran in 15 minutes before the appointed time. By yourself. Hey, that's more than a match for those guys. Hey. So, you're returning to the medic, the medic clinic from there. Apparently, he was shot in the heart. Shot in the heart, and he's still alive. No, you can't. I never learned how to catch it with my heart. Well, stop just short of my thumper. You know what I'm saying? I would have been golden if it were for that whack dog. Can't take out a stupid bullet. So, as you said, the surgery was a failure. There ain't all the homes. I ain't supposed to go without a word. See you later, bye. <laughs> what do you mean, you just let you go without a word? What do you think it means? Whack, that's what? I'm not sure what that means, but it sounds bad. It sounds like her doctor was the hardest mistake. That's why I let the defendant go. He's a lie, straight up. He's a bad G than me. So I gotta go and get another dark pack to me up again. So the bullet is still... You know what, I can still feel it. Right there in my chest, pressed up against my heart. Your words are like a bullet, so straight to my heart. Or something to that effect. Instead of me, that's one of your hit singles. Well, that sounds like a straightforward cause of... My friend. Save it before uploading. <laughs> Seems it's been before, so I can. So I can go and upload it with like my regular YouTube thing. Word J man, wouldn't you actually that's for shizzle. Hmm. It seems that the wool entered with the doctor incident. And putting him down was like doing the world a favor. Waki! Please consult your lawyer before saying things like that. Shut up, Apollo. Back straight. But <laughs> just. But why did this mistake only come to light that day? The founder in the family health checkup. The f family checkup. That's a wax thing about all she's lined up. Take nine exams, all that. Did it better die on fade away, but Zoe. A relief to hear. Eh? What's a relief? Oh, did your father not tell you? That boy you care so close to your heart. If not attended to immediately. It could kill you. But wait! Yes, but Dr. Maractus had knowledge of considering this ticking time bomb in you. Knowledge that could have saved your life. No way! Th that's whacked! There's proof. You check up for it. How ironic that you still kill the one man capable of helping you. You're almost as careless as he was. <laughs> Well, now that the place is hopping, let's get this gig started. Let's get him st st started. We had enough of a warm up to act, Jar. Time to hear from the witness. Foggy well, sure is quiet all of a sudden. I'm a little uneasy myself. Is this Gavin's strategy? 
What? Well, so you will tell us the name and occupation. Gonna say anything? My name is Wesley Stickler. Why watching you sound like? He sounds like a weak schoolman. My name is Wesley Stickler. By occupation, I take you that proper society at large supports the livelihood under which the finishes must confess to being unemployed. However, we must acknowledge the meaning of identity, which is commonly attached to us the notion of occupation, in which we have accepted this reality. We see that our future is not just thought, but deceived from a strange step in the vagueness, in order to the conversation to thought. I do a by which he means to say that he's a student. A junior at Ivy University, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, the Department of Science and Engineering. Filled with curiosity of all things, I spend my days in pursuit of truth, or honing mine. Her stickler, please direct the said curiosity to the case at hand today. Miss Freeman? Myth? Myth? Very well! Very well, Mrs. Please testify to the court about what you saw the night of the crime. The first question is mystery. What I saw. I said that Homo sapiens are pursued eyes and the desire to receive and attribute data as the image of the form of the signals to. A night in the park. That night, I passed the park on my way home from shopping. When I saw them, one man pulling a stand, another man facing him, I saw them quite clearly. The man facing the victim, that it was the fin. In his hand he held, yes, a pistol. It was pointed at the man pulling the stand. A shot double hit the man pulling the stand from the front, square in the forehead. Hmm. Wasn't there anyone else in this park at the time? I can see with 100 percent accuracy. That there was not. But the pistol that Wilbur was prepared to is this. Court says it's new evidence. It's allowed to the court record. Very well, Mr. Justice. You may cross examine the witness. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, Trixie? Trixie, why are you staring like that at the witness? That man. I can't help but feel I've seen him somewhere before. Huh? A nut in the park. Quite a good reason. I, I saw something that. Well. Something right here. It said, "Right temple." He's a swollen forehead. <sighs> That's all. I think I have a chance. Is that you relaxing? I see her justice. Uh, oh, uh, ahem. Objection. Hmm? Well, it's quite enough, your justice. Paula, page yourself. This trial's not over yet. Uh, uh, right. Um, uh, look at this. The autopsy report. Is there a problem with the autopsy report? Uh, right. A problem. A problem. Problem. Yes. Problem is the location of the entry wound. The location. You testified that the killer shot the victim square in the forehead. Did you not? Ah. I've already determined your angle of inquiry. Allow me to explain. It is quite simple, really. Birds understand that when I say square, I mean speak knowledge on which absolute. I mean by this, for example, the direction of a meter is something of the wavelength of the time emitted by a krypton particle, as we all know, in addition. It's a well known fact that the krypton particles are rare, and visible to the naked eye, which points to the basic fallacy in your line of reasoning, namely, that what Mr. Justice. Yeah? I was objecting to these uh, krypton Change particles. These. <laughs> I found an apple. Ooh, apple. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, now you made me move for an apple. This is a big time, and you're obsessed with something so small. You disappoint me. No, I'm obsessed with something big. I mean, there's a bigger, there's a nitpicky problem here. Do, do tell. Do tell. Just look at the outside report. The location of the engine room was the right temple. Tempo? Mr. Stickler, he said quite clearly that Brigham shot square in the forehead. That's a contradiction, isn't it? Is it? Is it? Right. Objection. Finally. Objection! Her justice. Oh, her justice. Yes? Your tactics are outdated. Trying to take witness by objection to trifles? 
Surely you haven't forgotten the fate of Wounded Good Master suffered seven years ago. Phoenix right, was it? Huh? Look, I know the wound was in the wrong place according to the testimony. You! Hey, her forehead. Huh? Forehead? I just imagined you were walking through the park. You see two men facing each other. One with a pistol, trained on the other. What would you do, her forehead? Well, I I guess I would try to stop them. I'd probably shout stop. And you for them? Me? Well, I'd probably scream, eek. And you, her stickler? What'd you shout, I wonder? Ah! I didn't turn his head at the last moment. Ugh. Ah, yes. Thank you for jogging my memory. Sounds like a, a middle to <laughs> the testimony is required. Right after the park number two, as soon as the killer with his pistol, I took action. He says, once you two, I cried with composure. The victim turned at the direction of my voice, and a shot rang out. What I want to have the killer, the defendant, appeared to have become frightened. Tossing the pistol aside, he fled from the scene. I see. But it seems that they are pertinent to the stop of the crime. Indeed, with composure. Where would the cripple would have fired if he hasn't shot like that? That really doesn't matter, unfortunately. Let us consider this new testimony, shall we? Observe the diagram, if you would. The witness, Mrs. Stickler, was it? Stood here. Chatted. Oh, stop, please. Something of this nature. And the victim responded by looking at the witness direction. Here was perhaps shot right just that moment. As we see, the bullet was shot at the right temple, as in the report. And it does seem to be the case. Witness the power of the junior at Ivy University Department of Science. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may do cross exam you may cross examine the witness. Oh, so it's Phoenix Wright now, Apollo Justice? I didn't know. Oh. Oops. Uh would you like me to call you Mr. Apple? Because <laughs> I didn't even have it. Since the Gurus episode took action, she says at once, I cried to two okay with a composure. It turned into the vision of my voice and shot rang out. Whereupon I cowed the killer, the defendant apparently was all frightened. Also, in such a side, he slept from the scene. You didn't try to apprehend the criminal? It all happened so fast, I'm afraid I had the time. That's something about that strike goes odd upon him. Uh, what? The killer was in a hurry, right? He fired the pistol and tossed it right away. According to testimony, that's what happened, yes. In that case, I'd expect to find something that we didn't find. I should think, find what? The pistol. I think I'm sure I kind of said to see it go. And I just had to feel, what do we do now? As this testimony's gonna look clear, she's right. We gotta find something using this new testimony. And I found a contradiction. Wait a second! Another misleading request. Yet you're still beholden to your own mode of discourse. How I can't see how it affects you. Um, come again? Wait a second, you say. A second? I'll be intended to wait just that, a single second, one sixtieth of a minute. That's hardly enough time to draw a breath. It didn't make a statement in court. Now, have you asked me for a long period of time? Say, three minutes, thirty-five seconds, Mr. Justice. Mr. Justice. Yes, Your Honor. I understand I'm... that you're objecting to the link of a second. Yes, I mean, uh, no, no, here, just, just look at that pistol. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just really used to responding to it with the judge, because you weren't here for like 10 minutes and I just was doing the judge. I wasn't even it was on for 10 minutes. I went to go get an apple. And then well, fish. there was enough for me to do like a lot of time for the, for the dude. The, the dude. Ha, a common ploy, made all by more common, I fear, by the prevalence of television. Criminals these days are loaded with fingerprints. Wait, but I said the killer tossed the gun and ran. That's right, he didn't have time for the gun for prints. Oh! Ah, the little girl sticking into university student. There's a song in there. I'm not little! <laughs> then I think like a dot, shall we, for me? Eh? What if the killer defended? Wearing gloves. Gotta admit, I didn't think of that, Apollo. Well, Mr. Justice. 
the of the murder report was very clear about one thing. The fingerprints were wiped, which means some trace of the fingerprints remained. Which contradicts your testimony. If everything happened as you said it did. Who will now turn to wipe the pistol? That may be, but it does not change what I saw. The killer, the defendant, he threw down the murderous weapon from his hand and fled. Hmm. The pistol was found at the scene of the crime. Strongly suggesting that this is what we disposed of. It does sound slow to me, but her forehead, any practical objections? What gives, Apollo? Let's get that fortune to go to work. You know I'd rather do something to realize something. No matter how much you train your voice, it doesn't matter if you have nothing to say. What do you mean, nothing to say? I have something to say! It's obvious from what the witness just said. Well, it's obvious. When he restated that he saw it, now it's saw a way to draw a murderous weapon. That's not the same thing 100% sure what can What was that? What happened? The mic's going off. You're right. Oh, it is. Uh, okay. Is it fine now? Yep. It's, okay. He took the fuse. What did the pistol found at the scene? Poor Mr. Stickler. It must be hard to be so perfect and yet so wrong. Well, it can't be said I'm quite offended. Well, it is indeed true that one was my youth. I would have liked that was Steve Lightyear and Black Widow seeing for the superior form of the name of the two as. What can? What can we say, Volka, is that the witness saw the killer throw something. Does the fence have anything to say about this? It's a shiv! That's what I think. That's what the fence seems to be thinking. Ugh, that's one of the pretty little face cabin. Perhaps you can infirm the core as the, to the nature of this something. Uh, the mic. What could the thing throw? Is that a sword? No, it's or a shield. Shiv. I saw one of those. I saw one of these on the night last night movie last night. Yeah. Great, the last tribe night. judge. This map was found at the scene of the crime with the defendant's prints on it. His fingerprints? I think it's ever proves two things. One, what the defendant threw down wasn't a pistol. Two, the defendant was not wearing gloves. Hmm, indeed. I have her forehead. You're forgetting two other things you've just proven. Huh? One, that the man of the witness saw was the defendant was a walker talkie. Two, that the defendant was holding a knife with the intent of harming the victim. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Indeed. Remember in the cabin is a lesson here. This court is is of opinion that a witness is found in making assumptions. And that why I believe would behoove us to hear about the really occurred. Oh. Oh. Okay. Talking about hooves. Um, oh hooves. Hooves. Ah. Ejection, ponies. Yes. Will last appear, please. Phoenix pony. <laughs> Look up, turn around, storm. Turn around, storm. I've read it all. I've seen it all. Same. I even seen the mistakes. That was funny. Yep. So the same with you people. Mark left the house on foot. In five minutes later, his brother left after him. Uh. How long would it take Mark's brother to catch up to him? Assuming that Mark had stopped the traffic light. Assuming. Yes, that's what I said. Assuming. As that were a problem with the situation going. Until you are assuming that my assumption is no better. What is hmm. What is this called assuming? <laughs> is that the witness will testify as to what happened after the shooting was the shot was fired. Can we take a break for a moment? I'm really freaking sweating then, so there's the other one out of drinks. Okay. Let's take a break for a moment. Ugh. Let's go. We're back from our little break. <clears throat> you know, because breaks are good things. They breaks are very, very good things. I have goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> I have an apple and lemonade that's sparkling. Sparkling lemonade. Delicious. Oh yeah.
Let's go. I wanted some tea, but I couldn't make it in time. That sucks. Yep. Yep. We're just like not doing the voices because we're busy eating. I can do the voices. I I'm not. Let's have a vocal course rest. Well, we've been doing it for two flipping hours, dude. We need to rest. Technically, we've been doing it for a lot longer, almost like six from yesterday. Yep, two days. We need them to rest. What I could do, <laughs> you know what? Until Wealthy Sigler is gone, like we're done with him, I'm not going to use my voice, like to do voices. Me either. I might do the judge, maybe, but probably not. Yeah. Too pissy. I'm actually playing Minecraft. Wow. That's why sometimes I'm acting like really distracted. No one came. Uh. <laughs> I, th I think some people might have because they were in bed and all.
Tepes. Well, that seems to be lost court. Hmm. Oh, just someone has held it. Whoa! Trixie! Yay! And it should be useless. <laughs> Wait a minute. The knife's being hold held the wrong way. Yep. Don't you see it? Yeah, I see it. It's dumb. I, I, I was thinking about that too. Now that, that, that guy reminds me of the Joker. Damn, we're so fast! Yep. Thank <laughs> you. 
is in that? Cocaine. <laughs> what was the first thing that comes to mind? Cocaine. Just because of the finger powder. Yes! It's all over my face. It's kind of warm, warm still. The water's all over me. Yes, water. I was gonna put my tea in there, but I didn't have enough time to make tea. <laughs> Excuse me. Oops. <laughs> Ugh. Hey. Okay. moment we'll go ahead and return this session and all more videos to combine which will suck Ugh. <clears throat> breaks Hi. breaks uh, excuse me rip city push the justice <laughs> yeah we got remember remember we're just gonna go ahead and just not talk i'm mm -hmm. still sick i'm still beating i got raped
<laughs> well, I see if they answered me back. What do you say? Maybe another time. We have to be it. Come on. They can uh, kind of see the chat. I'm making them completely able to see the chat. I'm friends with a flopper. A flopper? <laughs> I am friends with a flopper. No, I am friends with a princess. I am also... <laughs> I normally blame Luna. Evil chicken. Evil chicken. Music is amazing. Why is there? Uh. Oh, a great bill! Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I must know. There it is. Get in there. Get in there. Get in the trash can. Ah! Oh, what the heck? Just fell. I don't care.
Nope. I knew he's ready to do this. That was obvious.
Oh, it does matter. Right down.
Okay then.